listen to Trump if he wants to do you know, providing benefits to Americans. Think about what this would do to our country, including our government. So here we go. Possibly repealing the salt cap through eliminating taxes on Social Security and PIP income. And Robert Frank, you know, has got to, he had to go and add everything up uh, on tax rates, tax and what. And it does say, you know, it has trillion here, trillion there. And he starts to add up. <laughs> Former President Trump started his campaign with a plan to extend the 2017 tax cuts. That plan is going to cost the government about $4.6 trillion over 10 years. Then he started adding more. He called for ending taxes on tips. That's his favorite. That could cost up to $200 billion. He promised to end taxes on Social Security. That's another $1.6 trillion. He said he would end taxes on overtime. This is a big one. That costs another $1.8 trillion. He wants to lower the corporate tax rates for domestic manufacturers. He's going to talk a lot more about that today. That would go from 21 to 15 percent at another $700 billion or so. Then... Last week in New York, to Joe's delight, he called for getting the salt back. Yeah, presumably he's stealing the ten thousand dollar cap on state and local deductions. That would be another one point two trillion dollar handout. Add it all together. Trump has now proposed tax giveaways totaling nearly ten trillion dollars over ten years. Now he said he would pay for the tax cuts with tariffs and maybe cutting some of the previous spending programs. Analysts say those tariffs would raise about. $2.8 $2.8 trillion at best, which means his current tax plan would add about $7 trillion to the deficit over the next decade. I have a good one. Yeah, yeah. What's that? Since we are, at this point, a uniparty, Trump could propose an unrealized, because there's no capital gains tax, right? Trump could propose a wealth tax of 3% on billionaires. Couldn't we pay for it if we did 3% every year? Uh, 3% on unrealized gains? Yeah. Yes. Why not? <laughs> I mean, seriously, this is so insane right now on, on both sides. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know what? It, as ridiculous as what I'm saying is, as a unit party, they're both doing the same ridiculous yeah, race in a way. Yes. Why yes. don't we? Right. Becky, Becky called it the Oprah tax policy with a unit of tax cuts. And there's right. a there's, there's, I still got some of the there's, there's, there is a suspicion that maybe what Trump wants to do in some of these advisors is this is sort of a sneaky way, one tax cut at a time, of okay. actually yeah. eliminating the income tax system, going toward a flat tax and some kind of value-added tax or consumption yeah. tax, which tariffs, your feet. tariffs are exactly more like tariffs. And so some people say, I mean, actually give him another couple of weeks, he'll probably get rid of the entire, I mean, there's not many categories left that are not exempted right. from taxes. Yeah. We're, talking, we're talking hard cap, low yeah. credit cards. So it's a new party. It's yeah. really, it, it, and why is that? We haven't talked about that. I think it's Trump's desperate attempt to get into the White House. Give him everything. I do agree on the Social Security tax exemption because you've already paid it once.